Hello to you. My name is Maria Konjelska and you are watching Poland Daily Culture. There are many publications of the Bible and of course every single one is unique. But this one is absolutely amazing. It's altogether 10 kilos with a gold cover and I would say it is a pleasure to read it. With me here is Bartłomiej Felos, uh, who is actually responsible for publishing this Bible. Please tell me, is it a facsimile or is it your own invention? What do we see here? No, it's not a facsimile. It's uh, our artistic vision of the Bible who could belong to the kings. We call it them, and at the medieval times, they used to call them uh, coronation Bibles or coronation documents that could help to make a coronation of the kings. So the most probably it's how it looks like uh, a few hundred years ago, a thousand years ago, uh, when Bolesław Chrobry was a king and probably it was the Bible who uh, used to, uh, to, to make a coronation of the, of the first Polish kings. Uh, we published this after two years of preparations. It's a result of work of our historians, our artists, our facsimile technicians. Uh, it was a very complex project, not only because of the, of the text, uh, of the cover, but as well um, uh, because we have to use many different topics, many different items uh, to construct one big Bible, which uh, which consists the uh, translation of uh, of the first Polish translation of uh, priest Wujek. Um, hundred years ago, this translation was a uh, little bit updated, so the language is still readable. We had to prepare uh, special fonts for that. Uh, the fonts looks really ancient, but these so, are. But, the but just for for our audience, a little bit more to understand, because not everyone might be familiar with the fact that there are, of course, many translations uh, of the Bible to Polish. But the first one made by um, full full translation, made by one man, is the translation of Wojek, which. Uh, which we, we know, even though written a little bit in an archaic, archaic language right now for us, is very exact and uh, with very few mistakes, as, the, as they say. It's, it's, it's exact to the, to the original Greek Koina version of the, of the Bible, because we also have to add that this is a New Testament, yes? So this is the New full. Testament uh, plus, uh, of course, uh, the uh, Apocalypse. Uh, of St. John. Uh, Apocalypse that uh, consists quite a lot of illuminations and all the Bible uh, consists a lot of illuminations and uh, we, we, we couldn't do it together with the Old Testament because uh, it would not weigh 10 kilograms, probably something like over 30 kilograms. So technically it could be really complex. Absolutely, this one is already a little bit heavy uh, uh, for a night read <laughs> uh, or next to your, on your bed table just when you, when you want to f uh, fall asleep, but impressive. So tell me a little bit about the cover. Yes, uh, the cover is a result of our work, of our artists. Uh, a few years ago we decided to, to make a plebiscite uh, and to let the people decide how it should look like. So we propose the public two covers. One comes from the uh, from Płock, uh, from Sacramento, from Płock, and one cover comes from um, from Museum of the Cligny uh, near Paris. So in the end of the day, we were imitating the second one, this uh, cover that comes from uh, from France. It's plated 24 karat gold, handmade, over 90 gems. Uh, inside. Uh, it's a very complex project. Mm, together with the sewing, it's a hand sewing. Let's imagine that this is over 50 centimeter to 35 centimeters Bible. So actually this is the biggest Bible in a, in a history that we, uh, we published. It's heavy, so uh, handmade, uh, hand sewing had to be 
a very precise job. Uh, what gems do we see at the cover? Many. I even cannot remember all of them. You know, I'm a uh, woman. I'm interested Malachites, in gems. <laughs> uh, yes, turquoises, malachites, lapis lazuli, quite a lot. And um, different size, different uh, shape. Um, it must give the, the feeling that this Bible is really strictly connected with the medieval time. It looks very medieval, especially the Jesus on the cover looks, looks pretty medieval. And when it comes to the figurative way of showing him. And it is, of course, gold as well, yes? Yes, this is plated with 24 karat gold, uh, handmade, of course, uh, every single piece of, of, this, of this cover. Uh, on the opposite side, we as well will see that this uh, little, little part that's, uh, that, are, that are handmade, uh, together with the sewing. Sewing is as well handmade with the old methods. Uh, we do the uh, sewing in one of the oldest um, labs uh, or, or uh, laboratories of intraligator laboratories uh, in Poland, which is located in Pelplin. And please tell me, how many copies did you publish? Only 100 copies for two special anniversaries. Uh, 100 years of Polish independence, which was two years ago, and that, at that time we presented the Bible for the first time. And first copy we uh, sell, and we dedicated the first copy to the, uh, Jan Paweł II, the Polish Pope. And the, the, the whole edition is dedicated to him. Also, this uh, beautiful box is uh, covered with uh, golden face of uh, Jan Paweł II because of 100 years of anniversary of 100 years of his uh, birth. If you would like to see how the Bible Maximum 1000 years ago looked like, that's what Manuscript and Publishing House actually prepared for us. It is a beautiful, big, Bible with 10 kilos, and that's probably what, how what the Polish first king swore to during the coronation. Of course, the God's words are the same in any publication, but when it's beautiful, it's absolutely impressive. So thank you very much for watching Poland Daily Culture.